History Channel presentation on the Bruges Madonna. The Bruges Madonna is a marble sculpture of the Mother Mary with the infant Jesus and was created by Michelangelo in 1501. Today, it sits in the Church of Our Lady in Bruges, Belgium. The Bruges Madonna was, at the time of its creation, unlike any other statue that showed the Virgin proudly presenting her son. Here, the child is restrained by his mother's clasping hand and is about to step off into the world. The twisting forms and tensions of the Bruges Madonna makes one of the heralds of the Mannerist forms, which began to emerge during the later years of the Italian High Renaissance. Michelangelo's depiction of the Madonna and child differs significantly from early representations of the same subject, which tended to feature a pious virgin smiling down on an infant held in her arms. Instead, Jesus stands upright, almost unsupported, and is loosely restrained by Mary's right hand. He appears to be about a step away from his mother and into the world. Meanwhile, Mary does not cling to her son or even look at him, but gazes down and away, as if she already knows what is going to be her son's fate. The Bruges Madonna shares certain similarities with Michelangelo's Pieta, which was completed shortly before and is considered his most feminine virgin mother. The long oval face of Mary is also reminiscent of the Pieta. The Mother Mary in Bruges Madonna seems to be the most outwardly caring Virgin Mother in any of Michelangelo's pieces. However, her maternity is offset by her mature son and the independence he shows in the piece. His independent posture brings about an even greater expression of her love towards him, as he seems to be moving away from her. This ultimately culminates in the wrenching image that Michelangelo has created. It is believed that the Bruges Madonna was originally intended for an altarpiece. If this were so, then it would have been displayed facing slightly to the right and looking down. The work is also notable in that it was the only sculpture by Michelangelo to leave Italy during his lifetime. It was bought by Giovanni and Alessandro Moscheroni from a family of wealthy cloth merchants in Bruges, which was then one of the leading commercial cities in Europe. The sculpture was sold for 4,000 florin or $2,500. The sculpture was removed twice from Belgium after its initial arrival. The first was in 1794 after French revolutionaries had conquered the Austrian Netherlands during the French Revolutionary Wars. The citizen of Bruges were ordered to ship it and several other valuable works of art to Paris. It was returned after Napoleon's defeat at Waterloo in 1815. The second removal was in 1944 during World War II by German soldiers who smuggled the sculpture to Germany enveloped in mattresses in a Red Cross truck. It was found two years later in Altos, Austria, by the Monuments Men, and again returned to Bruges. The story of how the Monuments Men came to find the piece is truly incredible. After finding a cache of stolen Nazi art in a hidden mine, the Monuments Men began to extract the pieces. Days before the mine was discovered, Hitler planned to destroy the mine and all of the art in it. Thankfully, the local people did not let this happen. The conditions in the mine were perfect for storing art. The temperature remained between 40 and 47 degrees and had about 65% humidity. The mine was part of an intricate system of tunnels that ran more than a mile into the mountainside. There the Nazis built floors, walls, and shelves as well as a workshop deep in the mine. The task of removing everything proved to be extremely difficult and many questioned whether it was possible took over a month to evacuate the entire mine. However, after a Herculean effort, all the pieces were safely removed by July 19th. It took a few days to pack the Bruges Madonna, and it had been described as looking like a Smithfield ham when the process was finished. The use of a custom pulley system proved to be the best way to remove the bigger pieces. The success of removing pieces like this and the Ghent altarpiece turned the tide for the monuments men. It cannot be stated how important the finding and safe return of the Bruges Madonna was for art history. This piece was and will continue to be the shining example of art prestige throughout the annals of time.